Although city leaders regulated the cost of fares, they did nothing to regulate the rights of way for the roads. As long as the price of the fare was right, just about anyone could lay rails on the street and operate a streetcar. Perhaps the most bitter of rivals operating streetcars on Salt Lake City streets were the Salt Lake City Railroad Company, who pioneered the system, and the Salt Lake Rapid Transit Company, who came along shortly thereafter. At one point, workers from Rapid Transit were laying track for a brand new streetcar line on South Temple, while further back, men from the Salt Lake City Railroad were tearing up that very line to move elsewhere. Since the lines weren't regulated, both companies had cars running on the same tracks without any coordination. Once, two trolleys, one from each company, met on the same track, each trying to head in the opposite direction. Neither conductor would admit fault, nor would either of them move their car full of passengers so the other could pass. Eventually, city authorities were summoned to settle the dispute. This was how streetcars were run until 1901 when they were purchased by the Utah Power Company and transformed into the Consolidated Railway and Power Company.